Well, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. iOS 16 release candidate is out. As seen here, you can see it came in around 5 gigabytes on this iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, what an event we had today. I'll briefly recap that because I'm not going to go into all what's new on this because then my what's new when iOS 16 does come out to the general public will be ruined. But you can see the um, highlights here and stuff like that came in on the 11 around just under five gigabytes and other devices like so um once again iphone here are the recaps iphone 6s 6s plus iphone se 2016 model iphone 7 and 7 plus do not get ios 16 next week it is well not just confirmed set in stone all right so after watching the apple event i will not be upgrading this phone I will be making a personal video on my stance on all this SIM card debacle because I know some people are really annoyed and me personally, I am a little bit annoyed. So I'll get into that in a different video and my thoughts on SIM, eSIM support and leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the US phones only doing eSIM support so I can actually have some comments to review in the video coming up in about two to three days all right we'll first start off with apple watch series 8 was not expecting much because i think they overdid it when they did the series 4 and if you are on a series 4 or later a new feature coming in watch west 9 is low power mode i cannot wait for it i'm excited for it i, I just i i'm yay the apple watch is finally getting low power mode it it's it's well over needed the next thing is apple watch ultra the thing i was expecting to cost a thousand dollars or more but surprisingly it's at 7.99 now the iphones the iphone 14 and iphone 14 uh plus have the same original a 15 bionic chip just like the 13 pro max and have literally the same stuff as the iphone 13 pro max minus lidar and one of the cameras that's literally it the um 14 and 14 plus are rumored to get the variable refresh rate from what i heard of speculation i cannot confirm that right now but that's what i heard that it's going to get the refresh rate and there's been so much going on that i was quite distracted during the apple event but here's my recap now we go to the iphone 14 pro and pro max the rumors were true especially for this the way, the, what they're calling it, they're embracing it just like they did with the notch. The notch is much better than the island thing that they're calling it, to be honest. I, I It's going to have to grow on me. Right now, I dislike it. But we'll see when, when a few months go around and when this phone is out for quite a while and how it grows on me. The prices did not change. They are still sticking at the same price levels. And the... Uh, AirPods Pro 2 did, however, come out. I'm thinking about giving these AirPods Pro to a family member and getting them. I may. I haven't thought about it fully yet because when you plug in these AirPods, there there's no speaker. So it kind of does suck if I need to find them and I'm in a totally dark room. That would be a very, very useful convenience. So it's just one of the things I'm going to think about for a little while before I bite the bullet and buy them so they're they're all my thoughts so of buying something from this event all right since we talked about apple watches will i be upgrading this apple watch since i've been having battery health issues battery health also did degree on this watch again it's now at 81 percent uh i checked last night after having it off for a few days i'm gonna wait till it gets down to 79 percent. i'm just gonna replace the battery honestly there's no sense in upgrading a watch. If you have a Series 4 or n newer, there's really no reason to upgrade unless you just want to have all the best features and stuff like that. Also, there is a new Apple Watch SE. Forgot about that. SE 2 that is out. So you can also get that if you're upgrading from the Series 3 or Series 4. Um, but like I said, it's one of them things where if you have the Apple Watch series four or later and it's getting you through a day it's not slowing down the battery life is not horrible to the point that you just like oh, i want a new watch then 
stick it out because th this watch, yes, will be supported for years because it's the Series 6, but even the Series 4 I don't see being dropped for at least another two to four years. So it's just one of them things where I'm like, oh boy. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this Apple recap slash iOS 16 RC is out. Um, let me know what y'all think about the Apple event. Let me know what y'all think about the whole eSIM in the United States. I personally like my personal SIM, my, my personal carrier with my personal number. I like to transfer that around and sometimes pop it in the 11 or even go as far back for nostalgia the iPhone 7 and use that phone maybe once in a blue moon and it's just one of them things where I'm like now when I upgrade to a 14 or newer I have to transfer my stuff over to eSIM and so it's it's annoying but I'll save that for a later video I need to gather my thoughts on it because I'm just gonna rant now but anyways peace